Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profitech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. This is part 6 of WordPress theme options development tutorial from scratch. And if you are a beginner guys, then I strongly recommend to watch my video session starting from part 1 to part 5. In last video session number means number power 5, I have given the demo of custom theme tool about how can we make customization to a live website so such type of tool we are going to make from this video session so before developing such type of tool we have to keep some thing to our mind that i have written for you so these are the points guys that you have to keep in your mind while developing such type of tool which actually gives flexibility to our user to take their advantage of tool and make changes to their website without doing any code so first of all you have to remember or keep custom customize register customize register is the action hook which is basically used to bind those functionality with wordpress and uh, while attaching this action hook we have to use the global object wp customize this is a global object guys by the help of this object we are going to call add section add setting add control such type of functions and make such type of tool by using this object okay so we have to keep three different techniques three different things in your mind first action hook second object and third one the global functions something like add section add setting and add control add section guys it provides an area it area provider okay guys settings it basically it saves your value value or you may say it's for now it's a storage area storage area of value where user enters value okay values and add control the tool visible to user at ui so let me explain what i have written just go to your customized section then as you can see some of the tools actually wordpress default provides so these the sections as you can see site identity menus static front page additional css these are called sections okay guys additional css just click on that so additional css is the section where it can have some values under it so it's a section just click on site identity then as you can see site identity is the section where it contains something controls and settings so this is called area provider means section area where section area contains settings and controls so let me tell you about some settings settings actually saves the values from user this is area guys as you can see i have given some statement to photo solutions theme so this is the value actually users enters or saves into the database and this value will reflect to our front end section so these are the values which actually provides the user it goes under add setting well guys if you want to show this value to our website then we have to access the key value of add setting because it contains the value of user and the third is add control add control just gives a user interface for user just we can say this is a label where site title is given it indicates that we have to enter site title here and it's an input type text which actually takes the value from user so it's a user interface and this is nothing but this is a add control and add setting add setting basically takes the value and a section section is which contains those type of controls under it okay guys so these are the things that you have to keep in your mind while developing such type of tool first customize register wp customize object and these three functions so step by step we're going to make such type of tool just open your custom theme click on functions.php file custom theme customize option and here in here okay now under these comments we have to code so first of all we have to make a function for that suppose something like 
custom theme panel something like settings settings and here is the function where we have to add our custom controls and finally we have to bind this function with action hook and the action hook guys that we have discussed at is customize register just copy and paste and the second parameter should be the value of function name and here we have to use these functions guys and uh, as we know these functions actually we can use by using this object and uh, by default we have to pass this object as a parameter to this function just paste it here so we have passed this parameter to this and by the help of this object we are going to bind our functions like uh, add setting add section and add control so first of all we have to make the section where, where we add our settings and uh, controls first of all we have to make we have to make section add section and before using guys if you are gonna on the documentation section of add section on codex then you can find several important resources from there so this is codex.wordpress.org where the wordpress developers has provided a good quality of documentation where you can study about these tools in great detail so if you scroll down then you can find add setting add section add control these are the methods that we are gonna use in this video session and make our custom control okay guys so if you want to study about add setting then just click on it so these are the documentation of add setting, add section and add control. These three basic functions that we are going to use. So first of all we have to use add section. Okay guys, so just scroll down. And as you can see add setting method basically takes these parameters like id and arguments. And uh, as you can see add section basically takes two parameters first one is id and argument section so we need to pass id here suppose our custom theme section area this is id and we have to pass second parameter as an array where array takes the value of title priority description and active callback just to use title and something like custom theme settings so this is the title guys that we have provided which it will appear if we run our customized tool in this section here as we can see after developing it will automatically appear in our lab section okay guys custom theme setting and uh, just leave blank for now all these parameters because all these parameters guys are optional according to your use if you want to supply these parameters then please supply otherwise you can leave blank as well and now the second thing we need to use add setting method add setting method actually basically takes the input values from user and saves so before using add setting method as you can see it also takes two parameters first one is id and second one is the argument of arrays just copy of that customize add setting first one we have to pass the id something like custom theme title setting and the second parameter should be the second parameter as you can see these are the values it will take just we use default copy and paste it here 
something like online lead tutor and now the next thing that we have to use these are the option parameter guys according to use you can use and the third parameter is WP add control method it also takes two parameters just copy of that and paste it here first one we have to pass ID custom theme title control is something like ID and the second argument should be label just copy that and paste it here something like enter title okay and uh, description optional as you can see section in which section we want to add we want to add in this section custom theme section area just paste it here and the next is settings that in which setting we want to save the controls value when the user enters the value in this control then in which setting we want to save those value custom theme title setting just paste it here so this is the value guys that we have made for a title section make a comment title area where a user enters into the user interface title it will say value and all these controls will appear into this section area control is to save and just go to our front and refresh that as you can see in the left side panel custom theme settings has appeared now okay guys we have given this name as you can see custom theme settings just click on that after clicking we can see enter title value last time we have saved so it will take so online web tutor values guys that we have supplied to our area as you can see online web tutor as a default value okay so something like if you want to change something like title one and here is suppose I am passing my name for now Sanjay Kumar to us to save just refresh reload and uh, as we click on it so this is the default value guys that we have passed from our backend from the code and now we are going to see this value to this section I mean we want when we change this value something like Sanjay Kumar then it automatically reflects to our front end section to show it in live website to make this section list let's open the page something like front page and uh, if we want to make a panel for that something like uh, under our impressive portfolio if you want to see here we have to make the deep area container row h1 to access that value that we have supplied in the title section means the value that we have written in this setting if you want to access this is the control which actually takes the value and it saves the value so to access this value just copy the id of setting and echo get him mode this is the function guys which actually takes or retrieves value from setting panel to so save go to your website and refresh Just scroll down 
so as you can see online web tutor Sanjay Kumar actually this value is coming from the settings that we have saved here as you can see so if we change something like YouTube channel YouTube channel it will automatically reflect to our live website as you can see YouTube channel that's automatically it takes the value to our lab website so this is the very basic step by which by making a custom tool and we will save this value to our live website to save this value permanently just click on save and publish just refresh to our website we can see this is our live value which we have passed youtube channel touch from our administrator panel by making custom tool so for making this tool i remember make you remember something points these points are customized register is the action group by the help of which we have customized our function we have bind our function and this is the, this is the function guys that we have made for making our tool and the second parameter wp customize it's a global object that you have to pass by the help of this object we have called these functions add section add setting and add control as you can see add section add setting and add control these three functions we have used step by step we have seen the use of these functions add section has given the area for that if we go back custom theme settings custom theme settings as you can see it provides the area for our controls and settings and add control is what just click on that add controls gives the user interface where a user can enter values enter title it's a level value it's a level value and where it actually add controls will appear it appears into the section area that we have made in this section and it saves the value means it will take the values and saves in the setting by the help of this setting we will drive this value to our front end page so just copy this id and by the help of id we can paste into the function get theme mode get theme mode function basically retrieves the value from this setting and it prints into our website so this is the very basic step to make use of custom tool to customize our website without any code so guys in next video session we are going to see something text area images and minimal controls so if you have any query about this video session then please do comment in comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day